parts of this? The hearing that we had this this morning was on the renewal of the federal reimbursement allowance uh, tax, the, what is known as the provider tax, uh, which is a mechanism that we use to pull down federal dollars to provide uh, to to uh, compensate healthcare providers for the, their costs as it relates to the Medicaid program. So. So it's kind of a technical conversation that we had, and we, we have had that conversation each year for the last several years because those statutes are set to sunshine annually, and we went back today and, and we, were, we were talking about a renewal of the, the FRA tax. The good news is that we've had a couple months to work on the budget so f to date, and so what's happened is that our, our, our late uh, game timeline has 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 changed in the last few uh in the last week or so meaning that we thought we had about three weeks left to finish and we are now trying to finish in about a week so that that does create some challenges from, uh, from a staffing and, and time uh perspective but it's nothing that we're unable to uh to deal with and and i you know would go back to again we've been working on this for a couple months now we have a general uh, generally good idea of where we're heading so we just need to finish the job so, yeah so last night we adopted uh what's known as the governor's amendment to the operating budget uh for fy21 uh, in the committee and that would enable us uh, to spend about 13 million dollars in federal funds based on what we think we're going to be getting from uh, washington uh, for these relief efforts. And uh, in addition to that, due to his declaration of a state of emergency, the governor is able to access about $7 million in already appropriated money uh, that he could use for these uh, purposes if, he, uh, if the administration should choose to. So in total, we've, we've, we're looking at about $20 million in effort uh, all told now. We're watching the situation very closely, monitoring day to day. Uh, the administration has been in close contact with the legislature. Multiple conversations are had uh, every day, and we're watching the situation in Washington very closely. We expect that perhaps there may be more federal dollars uh, to administer at the state level, and if that is the case, we will need to go back in and kind of raise that federal authority, so to speak, and enable us to do that. So it's my understanding that there are some guidelines that would be forthcoming today on that. Uh, we have a general idea that uh, of, of where they will what, they, what those guidelines, guidelines will be. But uh, right now, I know that, that the governor's office has prioritized uh, making sure that we have adequate tests in the state and also making sure that we have adequate uh, PPE or personal protective equipment. Those are the two things we want to try to accomplish first. And uh, there's some other things that would come downstream of that. But looking forward to those uh, guidelines that are coming out of uh, Washington at this time. So there were several amendments offered last night in committee that would tap into some reserve funds that we have and uh, potentially, uh, you know, I hadn't heard that they'd like to backfill those with federal funds, but uh, I, I think that it's, at this time, we need to proceed with caution when we come to, when it comes to spending uh, reserve funds at the state level. We are uh, facing uncertain times, both uh, with, with the, uh, as it relates to the coronavirus, but from an ec economic impact perspective, we need to be careful not to deplete our resources where we may have to supplement uh, core functions of government uh, like education, transportation infrastructure uh, with some of those uh, supplemental funds. Uh, and, and we are going to rely heavily on federal funds just like all other states uh, for relief efforts as it relates to the, to the virus uh, outbreak. Yeah, so we are very early in the conversation as to whether or not we will need to make some sort of adjustment to, to help compensate uh, for the lack of days in classes, uh, classrooms for our, our children in public education. Uh, that would affect their formula that they enables them to pull down state dollars. I do believe that there will be a will uh, amongst the General Assembly to work with uh, folks in the public education space to make sure that there aren't any budgetary impacts that would result as a, as a, as a I'm sorry, that would come into play as a result of them being unable to conduct classes. Uh, I, I think uh, that, that perhaps that the commissioner of, of, of DESE has the authority to, uh, to make that kind of action now, perhaps. Uh, I'm not sure if, if the budget amendment is necessarily necessary, but we are, like I said, we're early on in that conversation and uh, we're sorting through that. But at the end of the day, I think we're going to work together to make this, to, to work this out.